Hello friends. How is everybody doing today? I just wanted to spend a little time going over, um, got a lot of questions about slow stitch kits. Um, and I was actually working on, I am working on some four hour shop and I had put a couple of these guys together. So this is one and this is the other one that we had put together. So I wanted to spend a little time with you today to show you my process on how I put together the um, stitch kits. So some stitch kits um, that are sold have a lot of fabrics. Right, so for me, if I am doing a large uh, slow stitch kit for somebody, having a bunch of fabrics without having lots of little accent pieces is really not, um, you know, you, you, you're gonna have um, your fabrics, but then you're not gonna have anything to put on your stitch kits right so you're not going to have your bling so when i'm doing a slow stitch kit for somebody i'm thinking you know yes i have my base fabrics for my buyer but i need to give them other things to add to give a nice visual effect like this um journal cover right so you, the bling and the little accents really make a big difference so like for this fabric cover, all these little pieces, the buttons and the little crochet pieces really add a lot, right? So I'm putting mine together and I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna show you the stuff that I add into my personal kits, okay? So this is just basically how I do it, okay? So I'm gonna take these guys, these, these are little rhinestones that we added, right, to the kit. Let's see, little accents here, some flowers, another little rhinestone, and these can be added to your kit, to your um, panel. You can use um, Fabric Fusion, you could use E6000, which are perfect and will not be removable. I added some little pearls, um, some flowers, and then I added a little rhinestone to go into the center of the flowers. Some more little flowers, you know, another little rhinestone, um, lots of buttons here. I'll take these out, I'll put these over here. Um, so we add a whole bunch of different, we, the colors of the buttons are based on obviously the panel that we're creating. So we have some pinks, peaches, and some blacks. I added some gold in here just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. Okay, so we have our rhinestones, our little flowers, our little buttons. Um, these little trims. They go crazy. These little trims are really key in um, creating, um, I think, my personal opinion, having these little trims are so much fun to add because these would have the little pink roses, little pink flowers, more pink flowers. Added a little um, ruffle that we made it. It's just fabric and lace. So these little accents, along with all of our little buttons and beads and flowers and rhinestones, really add a, a lot of pizzazz and you don't have to spend a lot of money because you can get a lot of these little buttons and flowers at the Dollar Tree. So, you know, these little uh, um, rosettes we ha I had gotten at Joann's, they come um, by the yard. So you can always get them, you know, like a, um, a spool of them, they also sell them. So these are so cute. You could put a little pearl in the center Okay, 
And this little um, fabric flower, I also got at Joann's, and you can buy these um, on a spool as well. Just a little, you know, cute little accent to add to your um, journal. And this flower here also, this is the same, this is kind of hard to see, but this is like the same kind of little flower as the, the pink and white. Uh, this comes on a spool as well, okay. So going to our crochet pieces, if you saw my video on my vintage haul, vintage fabric and lace haul, you'll see um, all of these different pieces. And I um, incorporate my vintage um, crochet pieces and laces into all of my um, slow stitch kits. So if you're putting together a slow stitch kit for yourself or for um, to, you know, to start selling, these little little um, accent pieces are just beautiful, as you saw from the covers I just showed you. So, all right, so we have our laces, our flower, our little flowers, our buttons. We have our trims. Oh, this is another little piece of trim. This is actually from, if you saw my previous video on um, snippet rolls and the um, previous slow stitch kit video I did, you'll see this is actually from from a napkin, a large vintage napkin I had gotten. Um, and I just cut whatever was left from the one end. And, you know, I added it to my to my kit. So that's kind of a cute little accent, right? Covers it going for a little chic flair. Okay, so for this kit, I've added some stamped fabric pieces. I basically just stamped right on fabric. And what I did was I stamped the images onto the fabric. And for the backgrounds, if you can see, I very lightly stamped some script. Very lightly, just to give a little background. See, for like these, um, you can barely see it, but it's just a little, you know, jazz it up a little bit, right? Okay, so I added some more vintage lady stamped fabric, went with the little sewing theme, the little vintage sewing machine. Um, I forgot what these are called, but um, the little busts that they have, very cute. So we have our stamped fabric, our um, crochet doilies, our laces, our buttons, our small little accents. Um, for this particular um, slow stitch kit, I added some handmade stamped fabric. These were on one large master board and I just cut out the master board and I just stamped images on there and then I um, distressed the edges. So if you can see, you know, so having the, I know I've been saying I'm gonna do a master board video for like a month now. It's just hard to get everything together, so. But these add, um, the, the paper add cute little accents to, um, especially if you're doing a snippet roll out of your panel, very cute. And I showed you in my last video for our um, fussy cutting lace, I included um, how I um, print out these black and white images on fabric. So look how gorgeous they are, right? Very easy. All right, so now we're down to the nitty gritty. So. Um, I had I added um, a little um, crochet lace, just as a little accent. You, and you'll see when you're making them, if you're making one for yourself or a friend, or if you're planning to make these to sell, you're just gonna keep adding. And sometimes you could just go crazy, you know? I know I do. Okay, so for this one, the main images for our, for this kit is going to be these images that I had printed on fabric. This um, particular, these particular patterns were from a um, company called Spoonflower. And Spoonflower has, they're made in the USA and they have like the most beautiful designs, like so, so much fun. And how cute are these on a, um, on a, a slow stitch kit, you could put the, you could make a cover for your journals, right? So 
These are really super fun. I love, love, love them. I love their their um, patterns, their designs. They're um, hand handmade right here in the USA. So super fun. Okay. Oh, here's the other piece. This is actually you know the thread. It got cut off a little bit, but we're adding it. So that's the big theme for our um, slow stitch kits. Okay, so I added a little bit of um, some pink sheer. This is like a dark pink fabric for any reason. No, but it's pretty and it would look great. So I added some black and whites to um, just give a little um, pizzazzy jazz. This little fabric with the, the black and white with the flowers is perfect, right? So... This kit is actually a, a pink, black, and white, and cream color combination. So we added the four colors and we're just blending them together. Okay, so let's see, a little um, knitted lace. I just add, I always add a knitted lace in there because these, if you're adding, um, so say you um, are adding your lace and you wanted to add some, um, cute little flowers you can make like a little theme you know like a little section and you could actually make this a little snippet roll right here right and then you could um put some backing on it and put some little cute little rhinestones and shimmers but i always add the lace because it just gives it such a nice little flare okay and this one i just put in here because i found it this was a part of my vintage haul fabric haul and lace haul and I just put it in there just for no reason and you'll find out you'll be doing the same thing but it's just a nice little you know vintage little accent okay and these aren't at these aren't vintage fabrics this is a part of a jelly roll <clears throat> that I had gotten from um, Joanne's probably about a few months ago and it's the um, Paris theme. So I thought the ruler uh, fabric went really great with our sewing machine and our um, dress form and our spool thread. You know, just kind of keep a little bit of the theme. And then I just added some, um, since this has the pink, black, and the white, uh, this has the pink, black, and the white with the little Eiffel Towers and these little flowers, right? And then just a little music, black and white music fabric. So these, like I said, were part of a jelly roll. Oh, yeah, and this one too. This is just, looks like a little fleur de lis flowers as the pink, the black, and the whites. So these all together um, kind of mix in together. And having the fun little fabrics, the pattern fabrics are really awesome because um, you can cut these in little pieces and you could just chop them up and add them along the way because the... Um, you know, you can make a lot of stuff with the panel that, you know, we give you in the kit. So, okay. So we have our fun stuff. Look how cute that little fabric is, right? <laughs> okay. And this one is, for no reason, just love it, right? It's like a, um, this is sort of a, uh, this is 100%, I think, yeah, duck cotton. It's thicker fabric, but I didn't even care because look how awesome it is, right? Um... Let's see this is a bigger piece but it just goes um so great with our with our theme you know it doesn't have to be paris it's just doing a vintage kind of um chic type um panel here but you know it has the black and the cream colors so i love the um the the script this is this isn't a vintage pa um, fabric this um i actually got at joanne's also so um let's see okay so for this one here this was actually an old pillowcase that i had chopped up but i wanted to um include the roses in here because they match the um the roses in our featured patterns for this so yay i love these these are so awesome okay and then for our base fabrics here, these are our, you know, just our neutral pieces. This is just a piece of linen 
like an eight by eight piece of linen. This, I think these were napkins if I think of my vintage haul. I think that's what they were. But it's just like a nice, it gives like a nice sweater feel. It's like a nice soft sweater feel. It's nice and comfy and great. These fabrics are great to sew on. Like to um, if you're embroidering anything because they're just so soft and they're very, you know, uh, forgiving. Love these. Okay. And this is just a muslin fabric. I oh I, I try to include them in all of our kits because these are the um this is the fabric most people use to um wow it's kind of wrinkly. I'm not the best ironer, I guess. But most people use muslin as a um embroidery fabric. So I try to include muslin in it. Like if you are trying to do like in my um fussy cutting video fussy cutting um flowers out of your lace if you're fussy cutting them then you can you can um actually just put them right on here and then slow stitch around those and yes eyelet fabric love i don't know what it is but i love eyelet fabric why is that so wrinkled i thought i ironed these sorry guys <laughs> um i love eyelet fabric it's just a little nice and petite little dainty cotton fabric you know and it just, I don't know, it just looks vintage I guess. <laughs> and this is our, our main piece. This is, um, if you saw, again, my linen, uh, my um, uh, fabric haul video. You've seen I, I had gotten large um, tablecloth and napkins. And um, this is an 18 by 18 piece, I think. This is a 15 by 15 piece right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can make two journals out of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And with your, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry guys. And with your other fabrics, you can use, um, let's see, you can use lots of pieces to create your whole panel. There's lots of, lots of fun stuff that we've added in here. So envision your, um, panel. Um, you can already envision everything that, um, I'm showing you, you can see how lots of things go together. You can see the colors, right? You can envision like lots of different things going on here. And this is something that you can do. This is really fun and it's um the end result is so awesome. You can make your snippet rolls, your fabric covers, you can go crazy. So if you're looking at this for the first time and you're looking and you're seeing your your patterns that you're putting together if you're looking at it just like this before you know I showed you the the you know the beginning of it now you can see how everything is coming together you can see you know and right away you can say yeah you know that kind of looks that looks kind of neat and then you throw in all of your little tchotchkes that's the whole point of what I was trying to say before and you're adding all your little flowers and your buttons and your trims and now you can already see, right? You can already see like everything coming kind of together. You have your buttons, right? And then, voila, you can see. So my whole point of this video today was to show you um, the process of putting this together. And I didn't really think too hard about it. I really didn't. Um, I just took, I, I took a 12 by 12, um, um, I guess this is a little mat and I used the 12 by 12 mat. No, this is, I think it's a, what is this? Oh, this is an 18 by 18 mat. And I guess, cause I think this is, yeah. So I take like, you know, whatever, um, whatever size and I use this to plan my slow stitch kit so it gives me a guide because once you have a guide you can say okay well this is how big i want to make it and this is what i want to add so you having your guide is um step one for me this is just how i do it so i know i have an <clears throat> excuse me an outline and then what i do is i pick the colors and the theme that i want so you know i said i wanted to do pink black white and creams and do I want to do a vintage? I started out saying I wanted to do a sewing theme. And then I saw, um, 
I had these prints and I said, well, I just want to do like a nice vintage ladies, you know, video, um, um, panel, excuse me. And, <clears throat> oh my God, excuse me. So that was it. And, um, that's it. This is kind of looks a little bit like when I showed you in the beginning, but now you can see everything coming together and we're done. So like I said, you're not thinking very hard about this. You, you, you want to give yourself a, a guide. You want to pick out the color themes that you want. Also, you know, a, a theme, like say if you want to do like a, um, you know, a floral bird theme, you, you, you'd set everything down. You, you'd pick the floral bird theme and then you'd pick your colors. So you'd want to do greens or reds or whatever. So then you would, st that's how you would start diving into creating your own kit. So that's it. I want to show you the other one really quick again. This was just the pinks and the, the, the florals and the, the pinks. Um, I, I live, this literally took me probably about 10 minutes to put together. I had, a, I know where everything is. I just said, you know, I want to do a pink, white, and cream. I grabbed my fabrics and my, all my laces and my beads and my, everything. And I just literally just popped everything right down on this little, this was just a cricket mat, 12 by 12 cricket mat. So I popped everything down because I already knew the, the colors that I wanted to do and everything. So um, you guys can do this. This is really, really fun. And I really hope that you guys would sit and create something, you know, because these are something that you can sit and make your own. And um, I just wish that if I can get one person inspired, then um, I'm very happy about that. But this is something that is very soothing and relaxing and you can sit and this is not something you're going to do in like two days. You're going to, it's going to be something over time. Like if you were making a quilt, you would be doing it over time, but, um, you can do this. This is, this is just an easy little process. Once you get your foundation and you get, um, your stuff get together, that's it. Just sit down and just relax. And there's no wrong um, with this. There's no, I did it wrong. And if if there's something that you change your mind about, that you have slow stitch, the worst thing that happens is you grab a seam ripper and you take it off and you, you change it. And that's it. So these are something that you guys can do. I, I hope that you guys are getting inspired and um, this little process helps you just to visualize, to see how um everything is done so um if you guys have any questions or concerns or um any new ideas please let me know um we are going to be doing another video real soon um I have some uh lots of great ideas and we're going to be doing the um our give giveaway at the end of the month so stay tuned for that but again thank you guys so much for your support i we really appreciate it and um i will be talking to you guys soon Thank you.